Welcome to our Fresh Pack Natural Goodness series. Today we're focusing on toddlers and the activities that both mom and baby can engage in. And remember at this age, it's so difficult to keep baby occupied because they put everything in their mouths and they have a short attention span. Welcome Mel, thank you so much for joining us. And who's this little man? This is Luke, he's 22 months old. He's a very excitable little boy, uh, enjoys playing outdoors, likes sorting through stones, and would happily excavate this garden if I let him. Right, and does he pack them back up again? No. No, he okay. can still <laughs> working on that. <laughs> Creating safe, stimulating, and fun activities for your toddler can be quite a treat for you and your child, as nurse and midwife Hazel Daly explains. It's really difficult, but how do we keep toddlers interested and occupied? Toddlers love to explore the world around them, so it's really good to encourage them to explore and see what's in the world. It's good to make sure that the environment's safe, so be careful of things like swimming pools and wet floors, but otherwise let them explore. And why is sensory activity important for toddlers? Sensory activity is really important because up until the age of four, toddlers learn 60% of their learning through their sense of feel. I always tell the moms that when we go into a shop and we buy something, that we like to pick it up and feel it. It's because we're learning from that. And the more we stimulate that, the more they learn from us. What are some of the activities we can set up at home? A washing basket, which we all have at home, and a couple of ping pong balls. Put those inside the washing basket. Let your toddler climb inside and retrieve those balls. It works on their spatial awareness, which is working out how big they are in the world, where they will and won't fit into. You can also use the table, invert a table, put the balls on there, wiggle them around. Again, working on hand-eye coordination to catch the balls, retrieve the balls. Bread tags and a shoelace. We all have got a shoelace. Let them thread those tags onto a shoelace. It works on their fine motor coordination and their um, hand-eye coordination. So it's all things that's stimulating the love of learning in our toddlers. And what about the outdoors? Outside we can do things like blowing bubbles. The toddler chases after them, mom blows them works well in their hand-eye coordination. Can put some cheap shaving cream onto a table and a bit of food colorant on top, let them smear that around. Um, it's lovely for their tactile stimulation. And then also just watering the garden, a little watering can, fill a bucket up with water and let them water the flowers. They love to do that. And again, they're learning basic math skills, how much water to put in the watering can, when it's full, when it's empty. Uh, it's really important that they play in the garden and they play with the different textures. Children learn 60% of their learning through their sense of feel until the age of four. So that's why we need to expose them to all these different things, the water and the mud and the sand, aqueous cream, jelly. Um, they're all very important to their stimulation. The more we stimulate those things, the more they learn and they'll have a way of a time in the garden. Yes, it's important to hydrate children, especially when they're busy active outdoors. It's nice to give them some rooibos tea to drink. Fresh Pack Junior is a lovely tea to drink. It comes in a variety of delicious flavors. You can make some up and put it into their bottles, but please don't put any sugar in, it's sweet as it is. And just put those bottles in the fridge and they're nice and cold for when they're ready to drink. Mom can also stay hydrated with Fresh Pack Rooibos. You can have it as an iced tea or as a hot tea to enjoy. Very interesting, thank you. There you go, some great tips and ideas to keep baby occupied and busy. Until next week, keep well with the natural goodness of Fresh Pack Rooibos. Goodness comes naturally.